Rematch. Any advice I wanna win? This is just a piss off, Elias now. 100k. Crazy. One on one. One on one. one, one. That's crazy. I'm confident. Holy grails will be found, man. PAQ presents. Everyone's hands together. Come on. Come on. The Holy Grail. So this is our first full LA episode. If you're not subscribed, you're gonna be missing out on all the mad LA episodes. You're gonna miss out on the crazy collabs. So make sure you guys turn on your notifications so you know the minute we drop an episode, what we've been working on out here is absolutely crazy, bro. But enough of all of that, Rarest Fits part two. Mm -hmm. Rematch. Fam, and no one's cheating, bro. No, I'm Wait. vexed. What the f I'm vexed. No. Oh my god, I'm burning right sweat, now. Sweat, sweat, sweat. Wait, 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 so I'm everything gone. you love. Obviously, certain people mm -hmm. left the country when I thought the rules were we stay in the same vicinity. Last time, Dex went to New York and I stayed in England. He had the choice between the Raph Simmons PCL Parker and the Kanye West pastel uh, like bomber jacket. And uh, he chose the pastel. Oh, God! What made you choose the pastel over the Raph? Because that is like my all-time grill. I don't even know. We're staying right near Melrose Avenue, Fairfax, the craziest Central Park in LA for hype gongs. There is so much on Melrose. We have to go take as many pictures as we possibly can with girl pieces. One team's gonna go left, the other team's gonna go right. Whether we go left, we go right, we're gonna smash this. We're gonna link up with some YouTubers, Jacob and Fernando. They're gonna take us around, hopefully help us find these grail pieces. And we are gonna be filming some stuff for their channels as well. We'll have a link in the description below to their channels. We're partnering up with Fernando. He's a local around here, he knows this place. Well, that was bound to happen. Gangway. This is like. This is like. So our guide is Jacob Wallace. Jacob's got connections, he's got the inside knowledge and stuff like that. Like, he'll really be able to show us everything. If it wasn't for you guys at home, we would not even be able to be out here in LA right now. If you want to see us in more places, always comment. We'll try and go there, try and discover. Keep supporting, keep subscribing, keep sharing. Love to you guys at home, for real, holding us down since day one. And if you're new, checking out our content, welcome to the family, man, for real. Enough talking, let's thrash these man. So, PAQ and the Holy Grail, let's get it. So the guys over at Polaroid have hooked us up with this. It is a limited edition 96 camera. So we're gonna get a few shots of that, of like the rarest stuff. So yeah, they got Polaroid. I said we bang out the best place. Right. Strategy. I'm gonna pull up on maps just to see how far we are. Oh, round two is literally just like here. Why does why Danny know more than me about everything, <laughs> bro? We're heading over to round two. We've got three stores, and each of them is packed full of gems. I'm gassed that we're going right. I forgot what store it was, but I'm going to remember when we walked past it. They've got a factory depot with the upside down Nike tick on the Air Jordan 1. There's only one of them that got out of the factory. If that ain't rare, like one on one, bro, you rare. might get that. You might get that cream. You might get that wrap. This yeah. one is one on one. one the whole world, one, bro. The whole world. The thing that's nice about going right is they basically got all of Fairfax, which is a lot of stores. Like, they're going to get a lot more stores than us, but the stores they, they have are much lower quality. For yeah. Rare stuff. We're going in the gallery. We're in a competition with two other dudes. And so we need to find something like really rare that's just like, when you see it, you're like, that's pastel, that's Kanye's brand. Oh, that's okay. I've never, yeah. I've never even seen that. Uh, 
These are like actually oh, rare. You should definitely take a photo from this. The you no, know, it's Raph Simmons, so it's good. Yeah, the Vans Raph Collette. To all my Space Jam fans, this is just a piss off Elias now. You know who loved those already. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next one. Let's go. At the end of the day, they might have round two, but we have the kick stores. The kicks are worth a lot of money. So this is the place that has the upside down kick of this crit. I'm gonna ask them out the back if they have it so we can take a photo with it. We don't have it here mm. as of right now anymore. Really? No. Yeah. Did it go yesterday? So we had a crazy online bidding war for it. Shu ended up getting almost $100,000. Oh my God. I bought a picture of it yesterday. Oh, 100K, 100K. You can't really, so dark. Yeah, if we screenshot that photo, and then we can just have the today's date yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. crop the actual Oh, and be like, be like, we got a picture with it. Yeah, just yeah. before the guy took it. Oh, so I took the photo of the shoe yesterday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screenshot it. So I change the date, then crop it. So like, let me show the photo. It looks like we're doing it today. So this jacket's rare because Supreme got a cease and desist letter from the NCAA. Hard to find them. Never mind find them in black and a size small. So It's the rarest version of the jacket. There's a few things here that are mad rare and expensive. So I think we should take a photo of these. The Velones. Velones and the Finna Air Max. Got the Velones that didn't even drop. They're about four grand. Craig Sage's Air Forces, which are about 5K as well. He just walked out of Flight Club. The guy there was a G. He let us take um, a few photos with some of their most grail pieces. Okay, so we went into the vintage store to see if there's anything rare. Raj helped us out. This tee is very rare. Misfits and cramps. Hard to find. Yeah. How much? Thousand dollars. Each. That tea? Each. Out of all these sunglasses, what would you say were like the most expensive or the most rare? You'll probably recognize these because of Migos, right? You have these Chanel Paris ones. You also recognize the Gucci ones that you just wore in the Ric Flair drip video. These are almost $3,000. These are solid. You know like when you meet like the middle goth, the master goth, this is the final, like, oh my days. So we're going to Horror Bay QO. That's got some mad archive pieces. It's a short Uber ride away. No one said we can't hop in an Uber. <sighs> so we just arrived. It was literally like a 10 minute journey down the road. If them man can catch a flight, then we can catch a short Uber ride. Two thousand four hundred. So you get the, uh, the snow beach has been re-released, but this is the original. You walk right in here. It's the last door on your left. Access denied. I don't know, I'm pretty sure we would be open, I've not been here before. So I guess we just bagged 100k and, and, and hit home. I guess so. What we did find beforehand was pretty good. We were just yeah. going here for like a last resort, mm -hmm. yeah. just in case we stumbled across anything. Turns out it's closed today. If you guys want to be really rare, Danny can get a tattoo of something rare. I'll pay for it, I'll pay for it. Are you down? I'll pay for it, bro. It'll nah. be like, if it's small, it'll be like 10 minutes. Think of the content, dude. Think of the content going. Thanks, old dude. Think of the Instagram. Okay, so these boys are too wimpy to get a tattoo, but I stepped up. I'm gonna get a rare tattoo. It's worth it. It's worth it for the challenge. <laughs> this is sick. It's, so it's good. worth it, bro. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's not that crazy. Crazy. That's crazy. That. How would you like to send it? Uh, just to my number. Ooh. <laughs> Please don't text me. Really. <laughs> He's gonna hit you up later. <laughs> I'm happily married. Thank you. Danny's a pimp. Bro, he's 
crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> I feel. I feel like we got our ground. Like mm -hmm. out of everything we could find, that is one like one of one. 100k just sold. Yeah. Like, come on. You know, I guess it's time to head home, see what the other boys got. I'm confident. Yeah. 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 Twenty minutes left, but oh, that's chill, bro. Let's just kick back. Thanks as much to touch. We have arrived 20 minutes early. What's going on, everybody? My name is Richie Lee. You already know, Tan. We run a YouTube channel, talks a little bit about sneakers, fashion, lifestyle, basketball. We were invited by the PAQ boys to judge the Holy Grail Ooh. challenge, man. They're in the heart of that streetwear hype beast culture, if you mm -hmm. want that, you know what I mean? I mean you walk up Melrose, Fairfax, Fairfax La, Brea. La Brea, Holy Grails will be found, man. Let's check out these pieces, though. And I heard you guys been up to some crazy stuff here in LA. You guys gotta let me know. What have you, what, what have you guys been doing? The Holy Grail, we yeah. did a rare fit challenge back uh, in the UK, but a certain man took it out of the UK. Okay. So this is the rematch. Who won last time? Me and Dex. Oh, right. But they cheated. Right. They cheated. We each found a load of like, streetwear, like grails, and then pick our top three. And then you decide who found the best three. I'm definitely gonna try to take the inner hype beast out of me. Yeah. <laughs> try to have more of a broad, you know, judgment. Shaq and Elias, you guys are up first. So. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> the undefeated, one of the rarest Jordans, about $30,000. I know the Carhartt M&Ms are quite close behind, but I know these both are more. These have way more history than the Carhartts. I'm actually gassed your guys. We didn't even have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just feeling calm. Like, I'm the butter on the corner. I'm just melting. The next ones are some of the most rare sunglasses, actually. The Chanel Paris, worn by Pharrell. Offset. Not really um, that rare then. No, but they are though. No, Here's why. The shop only had one black pair, one white pair. The white pair sold. Yeah, okay. They're rare. Elias, I know you love your sunglasses. There's probably about 20 pairs of Nikes that go wrong in manufacturing, right? But they never get out. Except the one pair that did. And so these are it. These oh. are the um, I literally saw them everywhere online before yeah. we even got out to LA. We was actually with them when they saw the shoe, originally. But, but so. the difference is when we got there, the buyer was there to collect it, and they sold at $100,000. Obviously, I took the photo of the shoe yesterday, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screenshot it, I'm gonna change the date. I like it, he's selling himself, you know, he's selling so, yeah. it, he's selling it. All right, 100 that's, that's Gs, true. baby. I hope you got six figures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm addressing something. What you really need to work on is not running your mouth. <laughs> Yo, Danny, Dex, you guys ready, man? Born ready, mate. So this jacket is Supreme jacket. And at first glance, it doesn't look like much, but the NCAA gave Supreme a cease and desist letter. Whoa. So it was technically like illegal oh, to make. Okay. So first of all, they had the NCAA jacket, and I looked at it and I was like, okay, this just looks like a Supreme jacket that's just got like, some patchwork on it. It had a cease and desist letter which means that it's not even allowed to be produced. Like, fair enough, it doesn't like a jacket, but so does any item of clothing. Yeah. That is why it's a cease and desist. It shouldn't be in stores. You know, it should be in police custody. Next one. So, this right here, these are two band tees. These tees are very, very, very hard to find. Literally, both these t-shirts go for a grand each. The whole point of this challenge was like, yo, you want something that people would die to get their hands on. I just don't think a couple, a couple of them band te tees were, well, I don't even know they'd make it to Grailwood, to be honest with you. They'd probably make it to Etsy, but not Grailwood. Okay. Oh man. So, when we did the uh, rarest fits one, Dex flew to New York and got the blue pastel. Yeah. Just to annoy these guys, I'm gonna get the, the another another pastel piece. The only people you annoyed are the people that look back at you in the mirror bedroom because that is where you took the L by doing the same thing you did by far. We basically said to them like, "What's the rarest thing in here? Like complete rarest?" And it is in fact this cause figure right here. The basketball is supposed to be super rare. Got it. So what's your rare item? The jacket. The photos 
itself. That was the biggest load of crock, the biggest blag I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, so we got all this rare stuff in one foot, and what we're going to do is, what we're, we're going to decide what a rare item is based on the judge's reaction. See, I peeped that man's game. Oh, it's too many rare things in one photo. Didn't Kanye make that one? Yeah, actually, I think, yeah, yeah, I think, I think this Kanye is actually, actually the only sample piece because he actually said that this is, this is made by Kanye. The pieces were dope. The pastel jacket is pretty crazy. The rock tees, I don't really like those, you know what I mean? But they were cool, they were cool, you know? Um, Shaq Elias, man, I think you guys did your thing, you know? The undefeated fours, crazy, you know? Like, those just speak to me. Of course, you got the uh, upside down check. Automatically, you'll think they're fake. But then once you get down to the nitty gritty and they're not, it was just a misprint. Everything else was scrapped, except this pair. Lil Weasel came in the, probably the recycle bin, <laughs> threw those like, <laughs> took those out. But anyways, man, uh, I know last time you guys won, but this time, man, I think Shaq and Elias got it, bro. Yeah. I think they got it. I have to give you a yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. 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 You know what it is. Yeah, you guys did it, man. Right. Did this guy's not talking anymore. <laughs> Thank you for picking the right team, you know? Obviously, this is how you were meant to win, the right way, no cheating. Yo, please screenshot that photo. That was a well-deserved win, no cheating, it was all fair game. So these lot are saying it was fair game, when in reality, so we're like near the middle of Melrose, we went left and went right, when we go out on walks, we always go right. So we've seen all these rare items before, like, I had a feeling they were gonna get them. Shout out to Rich in town for coming through. Absolute cool guys, sick judges. If you've got anyone else you wanna see in the episodes, any challenges, just hit us with a comment. Make sure you stay subscribed. Plenty more heat to come. This has been PAQ, the Holy Grail. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We are your champions. I'm back, yeah, because I was overhearing these man talking a whole load of wassia. Yeah. First of all, Yeezy Buster did take us and show us where the shoe was. But here's the thing, their leader, Jacob, flipped the coin and told their man they're going left. We got stuck with going right. So the smart thing to do would be to go get the Nike tick. I was even saying to Elias, if worst case scenario, we have to turn right. If we make a couple rights, we can go left. Another thing is, yeah, about a statue getting in the photo, it didn't have to be in the photo. So is the basketball. You wanted to get that in there because you thought you could get a loophole. So <sighs> no, run, man. Run, no, run, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. <laughs> so really quickly. <laughs>